what you did first time was all right. That's probably a better plan. What, down there? Yeah, leaving it long. Leaving it long, close to cushion. Do, do you think I should move the nine ball? No, it's not too bad there, to be fair. It's not really. Would a full play play the snooker behind the nine knowing his opponent probably jumped? Not there, no, just because, I mean, if if... If the two was there, for instance, they might, but it depends who you're playing. There's a lot of like, I don't know if you do that with Snooker, you know, like, do you feel like sometimes you play somebody where they're not very good at safety or something? Yeah. Do you do that? Do you play at table, you are opponent? What opponent? Probably. Yeah, everyone yeah. used, like, everyone seems, everyone who doesn't really play seems to think you should just focus on game, but you don't, do you? No. If I'm playing someone who's really good at, with a jump cue, I'll stay away from that. But because obviously you're probably not really going to do a jump shot, you don't want to push out into a jump. Yeah, no, I don't. Because they might just go, oh, come on, let's have a look, yeah, <laughs> let's see what you got. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Can yeah. Shot, yeah. Jump from from there, the in this position, no, just because where the two is, so you can't control the distance and the bounce and all that. It, they'll only push out into a jump if it's to a, a form of a pot. So the thing is, where balls are there, it's like, the percentages of obviously rolling it in the corner and keeping cue ball here is so tough, isn't that's it? That's hard. That's a hard. Yeah, shot, exactly. Yeah. So no one's probably even yourself. You're probably thinking, "Well, it's not really for me." So I, I try and look for that sort of stuff. Yeah. You know, just keep it really simple off the break. So, so now I've played that. Yep. I played the push up. So would you then take that, or do you think you would make me go again from there? This is the thing because I know I'm playing you, and you probably not adapt with rails and stuff. Yeah. I might say, go on, I'll let go you have it. a look. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Some of them might do that, especially when there's not an obvious safety on like that. If the ball was here, for argument's sake... Yeah, you've got to take that. You can take the pot, or it's such an easy duck, you could easily snooker there as yeah. well, because you're guaranteed a good two ball there, and white ball's flying around here. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? If you didn't want to take the pot on. But obviously, because you've left it here, it's a, it's a little bit more tricky. I think I'd say to you, I'll let you go from there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying about when you play the opponent. It's a funny one. I think we've got to just try and find out what your strengths are going to be mm. and then just stick to that. Yeah. See, see here is, I can have a go at it as long as I hit it thin. I think it's going to be, the blue's going to end up. Yeah, here, it's the, not. The cube will here. Yeah. If I hit it thick, then we're going to hit this, then it, it's going to go anywhere. And, or, or do you think I should be playing safe there? The thing is, I think if you if you was to go for the pot, you, you're going to get close to the pot, aren't you? Mm. And I think in this instance where you know the cue ball's coming back down, it, it's like playing poker, isn't it? It's a bit of a percentage in your... Yeah. You know, for, for where you're at, it might be in your favour to do that. To do that. Oh, God. That's the worst case scenario, yeah. it's fat. But I think sort of, like, we'll do another break. I think just on the basis of where you're going to push out, if you have to push out, yeah? Yeah. I think we're going to just keep it really simple. Yeah. Just get the cue ball on the cushion. Just whack on the cushion. Distance. Yeah. I, think, I think that's the best thing. Because you're just not going to, you're not going to learn it all. No. To, it's impossible. It's not, it's not enough, is it? There's too much, because um, like snooker tells you what to do really, don't yeah. you? Because you've got red colour, red colour. Is where this, everyone's got different like strengths, so you're thinking, oh, shall I... I weren't a very good safety player, me, so I'd rather go out all attack. Mm. But as I got a bit older, I got a bit more wiser with Yeah, for safety. me, I'd, I'd rather lose by yeah, missing than... Yeah, I think you're better off than, doing that. But I definitely think with push-out, you can just do it very, very simple. Yeah. But at that break, if we can just keep doing that, you see what I mean? See how it's come round? Even though you're not getting cue ball up, it doesn't matter because at least you're getting the one round here. Obviously, sometimes a ball will land in where, but at least yeah. at least you can it's see it now is what I'm saying. Give yourself a bit of a chance. Yeah, yeah, because before today, using that, you're thinking, what's going yeah. on here? Okay. So at least now you can have an idea what to look for.
Yeah, this is an interesting one because mm. you know there's a pot on now. It's near the pocket, isn't it? Yeah. First glance, I probably, I'd be thinking about leaving it like here. If you left it there and I said, you go, what, what would you do then? Oh, so do I need to think as well? You've got to think that after every break, you can play a push. You shout push to Brendan, because you've got to say push as well. So Don't to... just go like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just say push. <coughs> and then you've got to bear in mind, when I come to the table, I can say carry on. Just... So I need to think of that before yeah. I do it. Yeah, because obviously... Thinking, or you're going to take it. Yeah, because it's hard to teach you so much about the kicking, because you're just not going to... It's impossible for yeah. you to know it all. So I think you've got to come with your plan and think, well, even if it's not the right shot, yeah. you know you can execute. Yeah, so I've left... Yeah, so if you there. put it there... Now what? Are you so thinking... you stop me in. Uh, yeah, so I'll just say go again. So I, I, I'd probably play... Oh, I don't know if I can, actually. So I think now, if I if I would have stuck it, maybe try and hit it more here, and then put the ball like there, and then leave the yeah, ball possibly, there. possibly. It's just whether yeah, maybe just the scratches on a bit. I think if you push to there for argument's sake, I don't think it's the end of the world. Even though you're not you're not guaranteed a good nice. see you later, yeah. mate. Cheers. You're not guaranteed a good one ball. But I think for where you're at and you're going to be at, I think it's worth just trying to get this off here and try and get the cue ball there, mate. Exactly. At least if you can get it on that top rail and just take your chance with where yeah. one ends up. If it ends up finding a gap and coming over here, then so be it. But at least you know you're going to be able to hit this shot. Yeah, I'd definitely take that risk for where you're at. See what I mean? I think percentages, you're going to be better doing that. I mean, on another day, it might hit it thinner and go there. Do you yeah. get what I mean? But at least you know you can play that shot. What, what would you be playing here, do you think? It's not really much choice, is there? I think no. it's thin off it. Possibly thin, but... You, would, you wouldn't jump that? No. Mm, or you might? No. Mm, no, if the nine ball was a bit lower, I'd take a risk, because I know it might hit the nine full. Go in. And I've got a chance. The only problem with hitting it thin is if you, if you don't hit it, it's such a hard shot, obviously. If you don't, your chances are you might be pushing it. Well, I mean, if I if I hit that thick, I'm going in off. If I hit it too thin, it's going to hit this and go yeah. in the pocket. So it's, 